but I just heard it off to the left somewhere up there so it's a bit far away but if I'm lucky it's gonna get closer Hello everyone, I'm sitting here at the computer doing the final preparations for today's video. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge video, sort of a hunt, I would call it. There's uh, a bird that's called Isfugl in Danish, the common kingfisher. There's nothing common about it though in Denmark. Um, and uh, a friend of mine showed me that, did you know we have this bird in Denmark? And I looked at it, I was like, Fuck, you know, it's so pretty. So let me just, this is very unprofessional, but <laughs> it's this bird here. So yes, that's a bit exciting. So let's see how it goes. I don't know if you can hear me all the way over there. But while we wait for this water to boil, just wanted to explain you guys a bit about the, the bird. So apparently when you look at it and when it's sitting, even though it has very pretty colors, it looks like a leaf, apparently. Uh, if you look at if it's in a shadow and you're looking straight at it, um, and when, it, uh, when it's looking for birds, it can uh, stay in the air, like, and then it's gonna straight down dive uh, it has a very long beak, around four centimeters, and it's uh, 17 to 19 centimeters uh, tall. There's a woodpecker on the other side. Before, when it was silent, I could hear it. It was very nice. So uh, I think it's going to be difficult since I'm untrained. Uh, but uh, this is my first time trying to find this bird. So let's see. At least I've uh, I have the book, so I'm not looking in blind here just for a random bird. If I don't manage to catch the bird as a picture, at least it, this would have been a nice experience. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna prepare this coffee, just have a little cup. Then I'm gonna start walking up and down this shoreline here, or the coastline, or whatever the hell you call it when it's a uh, lake. Up and down the lake. Fucking snow and winter where I'm from. Drive halfway across the country and it's like uh, fucking summer. So the camera just said fuck it and fell over. <laughs> so I don't know. So if the angle looks different, it's that uh, that's the reason. And then you know you have to pour with confidence. Of course, I don't want to hold it because it's fucking burning hot water. So let's do it like this. Confidence. Of 
cool off a bit. So this is how long ago I used this equipment. I brought these because I thought I had to fucking turn it on with this. Turns out it has a starter clicker. few friendly locals just came by when I was packing up my coffee stuff. They asked if I was a photographer. I said yes. Trying to catch the iceberg. I mean, it's not the common kingfisher. He's full. And uh, he said, uh, are you in a car? I said yes. And then he uh, started to tell me about this location. I was like, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so we, I got out my phone and I <clears throat> got the Google Maps. And he pointed to a lake where he, he's a fish, he used to, he's a fisherman. So he goes there to fish, but he says he sees photographers there all the time. They've made this little uh, nest. He showed me how to go around and get to there. So bird watchers uh, go there to see the, the common kingfisher bird. So apparently it's there all the time. And apparently this area, uh, this town has the bird on its uh, uh, sign. So uh, it's like the national, not national. The local bird whatever you can call it so i'm gonna continue now here for uh, an hour or two around this lake to see if i can catch this bird there's a bird sitting there i need to take my phone camera hey but anyway yeah, i'm gonna continue around now to see if i can uh, catch it and i'll keep you guys updated I'm not really sure what this is, but it's pretty. And uh, right there, you see my two new friends, Bob and Billy, the geese. I think it's a goose. No, the little, the grim elling, the bleating swan. Swan? It's a swan for fuck's sake. Come on. Uh, I want to see how close I can get without spooking them. Uh, if they start to move away, I'm gonna back off. I got some pictures now. And I'm gonna, of course, only show you the best of the best. So let me see if I can get a bit close. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm gonna continue down the side here because there's a lot of trees on the side here. So maybe the common kingfisher is gonna be here also. I'm back at the car now, it's about an hour or one and a half hour later. I stopped at some areas around the lake, waited a bit, see what I could see, if I could hear something. Uh, no luck. I want to try and head out to this next location because from the descriptions of the local here, uh, it sounds like that's the shit. So that's the next spot. See you there. Okay, so this is like a new residential area around this lake here behind me and apparently photographers have made a spot somewhere uh, so I'm walking around here now a bit to see if I can find some sort of spot something that <laughs> looks like a spot uh, I think he pointed to the south side of the lake I'll bring you guys back out when I get situated. Let's hide down here, guys. Uh, maybe the wind is a bit better here. Anyway, there's absolutely no trees around the other small lake up there, so I'm pretty sure it's this one. Because they like to sit on the small trees and then wait for fish and then fucking skewer those bastards. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go down there and sit and uh, bring my coffee.
I've only been sitting here like 10, 15 minutes. But I just heard it off to the left somewhere up there, so it's a bit far away. But if I'm lucky, it's gonna get closer. I'm gonna turn off now because I want to be quiet in case it uh, comes closer. So it's very windy outside and it's starting to rain a bit and there's dark clouds forming uh, out there and the clouds are moving this way. So it's probably going to be a bit bad weather here soon. I have some uh, friends and a bit of family that lives in this general area. And I'm going to go see if they want to treat a cup of coffee um, before it gets dark. So I didn't catch the kingfisher today. But uh, now I know the general areas that uh, they they go come together. So... We're gonna try it again, and next time I'm gonna read up on what times of the day they feed and stuff like that, because I have a suspicion that uh, when I arrived in this area, it was too late during the day. And so I guess I have to leave like super early. But yes, next time we're gonna catch it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, this challenge. It didn't go this time, but I'm sure next time. See you next week.